And so I think it's really important when people come together to realize that it's not just them and that there are collective solutions to these problems. I, first of all, it's so upsetting that after so many years, Vision Zero, etc., as Corey Johnson just said, every time there is a crash like that and some death, we feel we have done nothing. It feels that we are back to square one. So we need to react to that. And then second, we really get, need to get to the tipping point to get the elected officials to react to the situation and really take that seriously. I mean, you know, right now it feels like we are doing trickle-down safety. I mean, we get a little bit of safety and, and, and that's it. And that's not enough. We, we need everyone to know this is not enough. We are not going to stop until we get complete safety on the streets. If speeds were, let's say speeds were 10 miles an hour, we would have vision zero. There would be no deaths. So there, there's some sweet spot between 25 and let's say 10 where there would be virtually no deaths. And the other way is to change the design of the streets. I mean, you know, if we, every year, the city repaves miles and miles and miles of streets, and instead of, at the same time, making some improvements, very simple improvements with paint, they don't do anything. So it, we, we are not getting anywhere, as well as, you know, uh, things like protected uh, mixing zone, protected intersection, if you were doing few of those things on a systematic way, rather than waiting for those insane studies that take six months for every intersection, we would get somewhere. Unlike any other conversation where lives are at stake, yes. we think it's something that ought to be up for Discussion. endless conversation. Yeah. Two days ago there was a crash in a helicopter and everybody is on the deck trying to figure what happened. And you know, we have 40 kids here. This is something is really wrong. I mean, people don't value those life the same way.